Hello, Tyler. Hello. So your first question is, being community affairs coordinator involves co-leading the ABLE program with the political affairs coordinator. What do you wish to change or incorporate in the ABLE program that hasn't been done before? Um, what I really want to see change in the ABLE program is really the implementation of the reason why we're doing this. I think it's one thing to become a leader um, in a program. I mean, you can, there's so much things you can do. You can put on your resume, you can use it as a job experience, right? But we have to remind ourselves of why we're doing this. Um, and that's because we all have a passion for the Filipino culture. And I think that it's really important that, that we remind our, our uh, some apprentices and remind everyone that this is the main reason, this is our, our goal as, as one organization. Uh, so I think that that would be a really, really, um, a really, really big thing I'll hit on as um, taking over the program. Thank you. Uh, second question is providing community service projects is one of community affairs duties. How do you plan on motivating members to participate? Uh, yeah, so um, like I said, uh, my network is, is uh, I guess, I, I mean, I, I talk to a lot of people within the San Diego uh, community uh, with, um, you know, the Phil, uh, the Phil Lamb events and stuff like that. Uh, so I believe that I can use my network uh, to be able to reach out to, uh, to these programs and have a direct link to um, the community service and uh, our um, organization so that there is no kind of promoting this, hey, you know, come on, uh, let's go, or more like we have people from the actual, uh, you know, uh, organization come to our GBM or come to our ABLE program and uh, promote like, hey, this is a really good opportunity. So having that direct link rather than a, um, a third party kind of in the way. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Matthew Kyle. Now we have elections committee who is going to give you two questions from the audience. Hello, Tyler. So the first question from the audience is, what plans do you have to ensure that those who do not identify with the Philippine X community feel like they can join Samohan and be an active member of it? You know, I think that a lot of people or a lot of um, Asian Americans and Pacific, Pacific Islanders really share this, this um, like a similar experience from one another. And I think that, um, like I said in my speech, that unity is really, it's really important. It's, it, it strengthens us as a community. So we can take our, uh, our sense of unity within AB Samahan and, and, you know, invite other uh, Asian American uh, organizations and, and other Asian American members uh, to our GBM and talk about how important it is to, to unite, and especially during these times when a lot of Asian Americans are being targeted just for being Asian. And I think that a lot of us, you know, it's having to all different types of, of ethnicities within, you know, the, the name of Asian. So I think that with, I mean, using those similar experiences, we need to stand together as one to, to, to become stronger. And I think if we promote that as an organization, I think we would, we would grow exponentially. Thank you. And uh, for your next question, um, I believe you touched on it when you, when you answered Matt's question, but um, outside of the Philippine X community, what plans do you have to make Samhan um, lar a larger part of the SDSU community? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, like, yeah, I touched base on earlier. Um, I think I had this one idea because uh, I'm in, in, in contact with, uh, if you guys are familiar with the Filipino press, um, you know, I, I, know the, I know the head person over there. And I think that uh, we could totally, I guess, promote um, SDSU's AB Samahan and kind of get there, get, you know, get us into like the top conversation where we talk about uh, Philippine next American culture uh, within San Diego. Um, you know, whether it be like writing articles for different events that we have um, and putting pictures in there or just anything like that um, really would, would uh, you know, kind of give us a really good edge when it comes to, um, I don't know, just being a, a front runner, like I said in the speech, front runner for our community and what we represent here in SDSU. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 